Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. Thank you for joining us. In this video, we are going to see how to perform armature test on a growler machine. Well, different tests can be conducted on this armature tester. Let's group them into three. Open circuit test, short circuit test, and ground test, or short to ground test. Short circuit test. Short circuit test can be done by using the growler tester in combination with a magnetic bar like this hacksaw blade, for example. So this is what is happening. We have an alternating magnetic flux being produced at these magnetic poles. That alternating magnetic flux will induce voltage on this winding. Now, if there is no short circuit between the segments, there is no current flow through the armature winding, and hence there should be no magnetism. No magnetism. But if there is a short circuit, this will become the primary winding, this becomes the secondary winding, and that secondary winding, if there is a short circuit, we will have current flow through this winding. That current flow will cause, will produce an alternating magnetic field. That alternating magnetic field will pull and release this hacksaw blade if it has a short circuit. Let's check. In order to do that, we have to rotate the armature it has to be rotated. See? Here we have a short circuit. You can see by the change of voice. See, this indicates that this armature has a short winding. When, AC, when there is a, a short circuit, there is an AC magnetism that is induced in this winding, that AC magnetism will pull and release this hacksaw plate alternatively, so that we have the humming sound and the vibration. So this is how you test short circuit on a glow tester. The other test that can be performed with this roller tester is insulation test. Insulation test is sometimes called grounding test. That is where we test if these armature coils, armature windings have continuity with the ground, with the iron core. The insulation resistance between the iron core and this winding and the iron core can be tested by using this continuity tester. When there is continuity, this lamp will glow. When there is no continuity, this lamp will not glow. So if I want to see if there is a grounding circuit between this commutator and the body, I place one lead on the body and then place one lead on the commutator. See, there is no continuity. This is another test of insulation test, or we call it grounding test. So by using this continuity tester, we can make test of insulation. These probes can also be used to check if there is an open circuit or not. All we have to do is turn the grower machine on. As you have said, when there is continuity, it lights up. Then place it here and then look. Put it on all the commutators. This way we can check if there is an open circuit or not by using these probes as well. So open circuit test can be conducted by using these probes also. And the other one is the condition of the armature winding. The condition of the armature winding can be done by using this test probe. So this test probe will be placed on adjacent pair of commutator segments and the emitter will read current. That current reading should be consistent throughout all the commutator segments. So you place it here. You place it on the adjacent commutator segments. You rotate it and check on every commutator segment. If the reading is nearly the same, that means your armature winding is in good condition. For example, see, you see here the armature winding is in good condition because we have a consistently nearly similar reading on the armature winding. On the armature.
So this way you can perform armature test. If the glower machine is turned on with armature placed in this magnetic field, we can see there will be voltage induced on this. So we can perform a simple test by looking at the voltage. Let us measure that voltage and see. Let's turn it on. You can see there is magnetism by the humming sound. Let's measure the voltage on each commutator segment. Now the voltmeter is reading zero volts. The glowing machine is turned on. That's what we have the humming sound. Let's see the voltage it induces on this armature coil that can be measured at the commutator segments. See? We have voltage reading. Point two seven six. Point two eight zero. Point two three zero. And as the length of the involved winding increases, so does the voltage induced increases also. The growler tester is basically it is an electromagnet. It's a very large electromagnet. It is a large transformer, I can say, that is powered by AC. As you can see, we have this plug. This will power a very large electromagnetic winding. And the electromagnetic winding poles are connected here. So this will become one magnetic end. This will become another magnetic end because it is being supplied by an AC current. An alternating magnetic flux will be generated on these magnetic poles. As you can see, the magnetic poles are V-shaped so that it can allow sitting of the armature on the glower tester. So when this is connected and uh, when the switch is turned on, fluctuating magnetic field will be generated here. So the magnetic field is changing. North, south. North, south. It alternates. That is why we call it, it is an alternating magnetic flux. So when armature is placed on this crawler, the armature winding, this winding will be exposed to an alternating magnetic flux. So by looking at how the armature reacts to that varying magnetism, to that alternating magnetic flux, we will determine whether that armature is okay or if it has a short circuit internally. Well, there are different tests that can be performed by using this armature tester. Look, this is what is happening. When power is supplied, when this is supplied, and when this switch is turned to on position like this, when this is turned on, alternating magnetic flux will be induced on this. So the main winding becomes the primary winding, and this winding becomes a secondary winding. So the armature magnetic field will induce voltage on this winding, on this armature winding. So this becomes the primary and this will become the secondary winding. So that is the basic operating principle of a armature testing growler. So dear viewers, thank you for joining. Please stay tuned if you like to see more videos of this kind. That was it for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like the presentation so that it can reach more people. Thank you for watching.